All right. Let's see. What is the difference? Why are they so important when we have pharmaceutical manufacturers? Well, they definitely are a different breed. When you think about an old-fashioned pharmacy, oh. where the pharmacist is behind the counter, mixing together powders and solutions to make medicine, that basically is what a compounding pharmacy is. Stuff coming up. And they're, they're, they're oh, exploded. <laughs> you need to have special medications made made up. The problem is that some compounding pharmacies, like this one, use this, this kind of gap in the regulation to manufacture drugs. Oh, so oh, that squirted it on me. <laughs> selling it across the entire country, mm -hmm. and the Food and Drug Administration has no oversight and no regulatory authority to go in and inspect Ew. what they're doing. That okay, is one of the parts of this that Ew. I found fascinating. Ew. Really oh, God, this is the... <laughs> No, it's on your shirt. Get this shirt. You're not even. So state boards of pharmacy were given the authority to say, okay, if you're only making this in New York, mm -hmm. you are responsible for making sure that New Yorkers are safe. But it's not going across. Oh my God, this is like something you watch on the thing. This company, the New England Compounding Center, has. Okay. Okay, stop recording for a minute.